Today we're going to have a look at how you can take any graphic and automatically grow it to fit the text that's inside it. I mean, the examples I'm going to show is a speech bubble and a panel, but it's really applicable to any graphic that you want on the back. So I've put two sprites in here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these sprites into sprite and apply. Now I want to make these nine sliced, but you can see that the sprite editor isn't selected, so you need to go and add the library for that. So it goes to window, choose your package manager. Change it to Unity Registry and just search for Sprite. And you want to bring in the 2D Sprite package and just hit install. Right, now we have the package. So now you can edit these sprites. I'm just going to, for this one, just pull it in enough. 25 seems good. I'm just going to manually type them in so it's the same in every direction and then hit apply. Now for the speech bubble it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to pull this quite a way in. I'm going to pull this quite a way in. Same at the bottom. Trying to not get any of the curve as part of it so that when it stretches it just stretches on this part. And then over here, this one I've got to bring all the way in so that it doesn't clip with the little speech bubble part. And now I can hit apply. And then what's inside this white box is what's going to stretch. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my main camera to have a solid colored background. I'm just going to pick a gray of some sort. Next up, add a UI canvas. And I'm going to set that in the camera. And set the plane distance to 1. You can use any of these modes you like. This is just the mode I like to use. Now let's add a UI image. I'm going to turn this to orthog orthographic view. Press F to frame it up when I'm hold on the image. Zoom out a little bit more. And I'm going to turn the size of my Gibbs way down. So grabbing the Rex tool, I'm just going to make my image here. And I'm going to drop onto it a speech bubble. Make sure you don't move any of these little triangles because you don't need to move these using this method. And now you can see if I stretch this, just that part of the image that we set up stretches and the other parts of it don't. But this is exactly what we need. Next up, I'm going to create some text, which we're going to put on top of the image. To do this, I'm going to use Text Mesh Pro and just import the essential. There's no reason to not be using Text Mesh Pro. It's free and I find it's far, far better than the other options. Or well, the option of the built-in text. Change my vertex color to black. I'm just going to make it line up with this. Now I'm not going to try and make it fit the speech bubble at this point. We'll do that with padding. So the next step is I'm just going to right click on the canvas. And I'm going to create an empty object that will make it as right at the root of that canvas. I'm going to just going to call this container. And this is the container that's going to hold everything that we're going to use to make this work. And for now, I'm just going to make the container the same size as we've made everything else. The next up, we make the image a child of the container and the text a child of the image. For the container, we're going to want to add a vertical layout group. And we're going to want it to control the child size, but not the height. 
we're going to set it to upper center and we're going to move the pivot point up to one and you can see what that did because when i had it at 0 0.5 my pivot was right in the center when i set it to one it moved it right up to the top center and now when i pick up a center that's where it will scale from next up we're going to add a content size fitter and we're going to use preferred size vertically don't worry that their text has gone out here we're going to fix that in a second so now let's go to our image i'm just going to change this name to speech image speech bubble so that we know what it is and we're going to add another vertical layout group Now we're going to control the height. We'll set that to middle center. So what we have here now is this is the minimum size this image can be while being nine slides. So it can't get any smaller. If you use a different image, which we'll show you in a minute, you can get smaller than this. Now next up, I'm going to make the text larger so that you can see that the speech bubble will grow. So you can see the bubble just grow a little bit on that line but you can see this isn't what we want to happen so let's go back to the speech bubble let's open the vertical layout group padding and let's start playing with some of these numbers So let's go 50 in each way and now you can see it's now lining up on the inside let's go 50 from the top maybe a little bit more than that let's go 80. and finally from the bottom we're probably going to want to get something around 150 maybe a little bit more and now you can see the text fits and it grows let's just try our container over here And you'll see that as I reduce lines, it reduces in size. Or if I add more, it grows. Now, if you duplicate this, we'll just pull it underneath. If you change this horizontal fit to preferred size, you can see that it will also expand horizontally the thing to note about that is you'll need to add your carriage returns in to make it fit sensibly on your screen and that's really all there is to it i'm going to do this process again one more time but i'm going to instead this time use the panel which will be able to really collapse so add our image Add our panel to the image. I'm going to colorize this one a little bit. Create some text. Match it up here. Create a container for it parent them actually let's just make sure this parent lines up with it before we parent it there we go and remember what we did here is we set our pivot to one we added a vertical layout group you control the child size up the center and you can already see here because there's a much smaller area for stretching it's really collapsed it right down and we'll add our content size fitter and we'll make it a preferred size and now you can see that that has made the actual container panel snap to fit that here we add a vertical layout group I'm going to align it middle center again. 
I'm choosing to control the child size width and height. To make it look nice again, we're going to want to add in some padding. Now you can see, you can add text and it will just grow. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can make your own UIs that will grow to fit the text underneath. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please feel free to subscribe, like and comment. It really helps me grow the channel and I'm really trying to make the channel grow. I hope you enjoy your game development.